And now, the moment you've all been waiting for. Question box quickies. Welcome back, my fellow Inquisitors! And today, we're gonna cover how DC motors work. First, let's take a look at the components. These are the magnets. We have the commutator rings. We have the source of energy. And the single coil of wire that goes all the way around, also known as the armature. Now, let's talk about the simplest form of a DC motor. When a current is passed through a coil in a magnetic field, the magnetic field produces a force called torque, which turns the DC motor. <laughs> It's easy! As electric current is supplied externally to the commutator ring, the commutator ring reverses the current each half cycle to keep the torque turning the coil in the same direction! Huh! Whoa! So basically, the electric current goes from the source of energy to the commutator ring and keeps the same source of energy on each side, rotating the coil in the same direction. Cool! Now, let's talk about a few tricks that can help you understand this. One, remember, magnetism always flows from north to south. Two, Fleming's Law. If you put your hand like this, you have magnetic field going in that direction, current going in that direction, then your thumb equals the force. So that tells you which direction everything's going. What a cool guy. Thanks, Fleming. And three, current always flows positive to negative. Thanks, Osama Al-Qahtani. This question was amazing and a lot of fun to research. And remember, if you want your question answered, leave a comment below. Wait. Now that I think about it, current flows negative to positive. Remember, question everything. Hey fellow Inquisitors, check out Mommy Hack's channel. We also do challenges and vlogs. And in case you missed it, here's last week's video.